Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will be painting something different other than I've painted last couple of videos where I was just focusing on fall theme paintings. This one will be a sea painting and a lot of you have been asking me to show you how to paint water and even though I do have a lot of tutorials on how to paint a seascape, I thought in this video I would just really focus on the water and try to make it as easier and as simple as possible. So I'm, I will be using this couple of colors. I've mixed in some azure and turquoise blue. Also, this is ultramarine and indigo. And this one is sepia and ultramarine. I will also be using some white gouache. And I did prevent the entire paper and as you could have seen I've also drew the horizon line in one upper fourth of the paper and then just some line for some distant mountains prevented the entire paper and then started to paint and I painted sky in one even wash and then moved on to the sea skipping the part where the mountains are and as you could have seen just with a couple of strokes this is a quite larger brush it is I think number 12 round brush and with just a couple of strokes you got the impression of the sea but then I moved on to painting a little bit darker ones and I do want the part that is nearest to us to be the darkest and the part that is nearer to the horizon line to be a little bit lighter so that is why I used a lighter wash for those parts that are further away from us and adding a little bit more pigment in a lighter color and also in a dark, darker color near to us. Now with that brush I've cleaned it completely, rinsed it in water, cleaned it, I'm picking up some paint because I do want some parts of the water to remain white looking as though they are highlighted, lighted by the sun or just reflecting light. So I did pick up a little bit of the paint there and I've for that you have to use completely clean brush with just a little bit water in it. Actually it's better that it's drier as possible. So then I've added a little bit more with a little bit smaller brush, a darker pigment. Again, just keep in mind that when you use watercolors, when they dry, they do tend to dry lighter. So whatever looks very, very dark now will be lighter a little bit later on. And going further away from us, my lines are thinner and nearer to us, my lines are thicker. Because you know, when the waves are nearer to you, they're are larger they seem larger and when they're further away they seem a little bit smaller and for now i've let that part of, of the water to dry and moved on to painting the mountains but now my part of the sky is completely dry and for the mountains i've used mix of sepia and ultramarine and i've also added just a little bit of mars brown to paint that in it is easier for me to turn it upside down so that is how I turn it. Now I left it all to dry completely and when it dried um, this time I did not prevent the paper but I've just used that lighter blue color that is azure in which I've mixed a little bit of turquoise blue and painted in the upper part. First I did use a little bit more water in my brush to paint that part that is furthest away from us and I did not try to make it one even wash but just painted it irregularly and then going downwards I am using a little bit more of the pigment and also a little bit more a little bit less water in my brushes when I see that the paint just won't go off my brush I do rinse it slightly dry it onto my towel and then smudge that paint and with this lighter color I'm just going in between those darker waves and also using this smaller flat brush to pick up again that paint on the parts that were they were also white earlier but were covered with that lighter blue when I added it between those darker waves and also I'm picking up a little bit of the paint in our upper part just also creating some impression of the waves and also adding a little bit of that lighter pigment now with a script brush that is the brush that well I do love to use for making a thin lines I'm painting in the waves that are further away from us to and you know those waves as I said are thinner and also look a little bit 
elongated so that is how I've painted them and then just left to left the paper to dry completely because when you're using it on a wet paper that it will be it will bleed and I did not want the bleeds for this I did want these waves to look quite sharp so I've left it to dry completely and then again with a script brush added a couple of waves in a further distance in the near to the horizon line and make them quite small and quite thin and then going near to us I'm using a larger brush and then adding a little bit more of that pigment and a little bit more water into my brush making slightly larger waves with that azure color and then again adding a little bit more of the indigo because as I said you know when paint dries it is lighter and then when added those lines I've used just again clean brush to smudge that slightly just to remove that very very harsh edges again a little bit more details with the script brush and that is something you can do and don't have to do just what you're painting how it's progressing how it's looking and if you think it needs a little bit more of the thinner waves further away make them a little bit more paint and pigment near to you add that and also I was thinking I would just add a couple of you know maybe some flares I think those reflections from the sky from the sun and they turned out quite inconspicuous but you know I do like it anyway and then I've just added a little bit darker horizon line using again that mix of ultramarine and sepia just to enhance a little bit of that line and then added a little bit more of the indigo quite dark indigo into the parts of the sea that is nearest to us because again I did want that part to be a little bit darker then rinsed my brush and with just the clean water softened those edges on the upper and also on the lower part of the wave and with that I'll be finishing off this painting this water tutorial I hope this was helpful to you guys and maybe you learned something you know there is just a number of ways to paint water and to paint sea depending on what is the end result you want to achieve and this is just one way again I do hope it was helpful to you and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still well subscribe to my channel that would really mean a lot to me and if you want to go a step further maybe consider joining my channel click on that join next to the subscribe button listen to the offer and decide so guys again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye